Okay, so our first project is called Fibonacci Circles. And you, were, when you came in today, you got a, a sheet of all kinds of patterns. And one of the patterns was this one. This is called the Fibonacci Sequence. And so with the Fibonacci Sequence, what's happening is you take the first two numbers and add them together, and that will give you your third number. Then you take the second and third number and that'll give you your fourth number and you keep on doing this take two numbers add them together and that'll give you your next number so then we have three plus five gives us eight so our next number would be five plus eight gives us thirteen so our art project is based on the Fibonacci sequence what we're going to do is we're going to create circles that have these numbers as the diameter of that circle in inches so in order to create circles, we need to talk about the proper um, definition of words and how you do that. So when you have a circle, one of our first words that we need to learn is something called the diameter. So when you look at a circle from one end to the other, a straight line across through the middle is called the diameter. This is the distance across our circle. So when we make our Fibonacci circles, we're going to be making them so that we have a circle of a diameter of one from our, from our sequence. So we have a diameter of one inch, and then we make another one with a diameter of one inch, and then we make another one with a diameter of two inches, a diameter of three inches, five inches, and then our last one, our biggest circle, will be a diameter of eight inches. Now, what's going to be difficult for us is how you make a circle. So when you make a circle, you're going to use something called a compass. Now, a compass allows you to create a circle, but instead of measuring on a diameter, it measures what we call a radius. And so a radius is when you go from the center of a circle to the edge of the circle. It's only half of the diameter. So if I want to have a diameter that is eight inches, my radius is going to be half of that, which is four inches. So when we make these, if I say I want a diameter of eight inches, you need to split that in half and make sure that you do a diameter or a radius instead that has two inches. So let's talk about that. How are we going to make our circles? So if you want to look down here, you have all these papers that you collected before you came. You should have a bunch of different ones. We'll talk about colors in a little bit. But I'm going to take my biggest one for right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a circle on here. It's made a little bit bigger than the eight inches that we want. And so in order to get this to fit on here, so that because if I try and do start right here, my circle might go off the paper. I want it to stay on the paper. So what we're going to do is we have to first find the center of the paper. And this is a really cool trick, whether you have a square or, or a rectangle or anything. To find the center of the paper, you take a ruler and go from one corner to the next corner. And we can draw a full line or we can just draw a little line that's kind of towards the center of the paper. And then I'm going to go to the other corner to corner and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to measure it from corner to corner and I'm going to draw another line. And so where these two lines cross is actually the center of our paper. And so that's your first job for all of these is we're going to find the center of our paper. Then we're going to use our compass. Now on a compass we have a couple things that we're looking at. So first off, this part right here where you have this round part, this blue part in the middle, you'll notice it's, it turns and swivels. This we're going to center up on the center of our paper where the center of the circle is going to be. Now we talked about radius. So if this is going to be an 8 inch diameter, I need it to be a 4 inch radius. So you'll see over here we have this part. This twists and turns. It makes it tighter or looser. And we're going to loosen it up so that now I can get it so that it lays down. If you look here, I want one of these holes on the side to measure out to 4 inches. So I'm going to move it over to 4. And then I'm going to hold it down and twist it so it's nice and tight in there so it doesn't move. We don't want it to move while we're doing this. So now I can't move it at all. And so I'm going to now use this to help me draw my circle. And so this is where it's kind of nice to have some help here. What we're going to do is we're going to put this, again, this little part that swivels, we're going to put that at the center of the paper. We're going to line it up, and you'll have one person hold it. Do you want to hold it? Or? I'll hold okay, it, sure. thank you. All right, so she's going to hold it there for me. Now I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm going to put it on the whole part. I'll move it over here. I'm going to put it on this whole part where there's a four. I don't want to do it on the other one, so you want to make sure you pay attention to which one you're using. I'm going to put the pencil in there, and then I'm just going to swivel it all the way around the circle. All right, and then we can lift up, 
and we've got our, well, almost complete circle. Okay, so we've got our complete circle. And so this one, I have my eight inches. You'll notice we also have our other squares. The next biggest one, this is gonna be our one below the eight. So if you remember our Fibonacci sequence, we have to have a one, one, two, three, five, and eight. So this one was my eight. So my next biggest is gonna be five, which means my radius needs to be half of that. So it's two and a half radius. So you're gonna to have to move your compass. So it has two and a half. Then my next biggest, this one will have to be the three. So split that in half. You'll have to have a one and a half inch radius. The next biggest is your two. So we're on this one. And so you split that in half, it's a one inch radius. And then we have our two little guys. These are gonna be our one inch diameter. So we're gonna to have to do a half inch radius. All right, so now we're going to quick do that. your circles are cut out. Um, the nice thing that our paper is colored on both sides is that we don't need to see those um, little helper marks on the back. So make sure that you're um, putting glue over those. And you've chosen your colors of paper already. Um, so now we're going to talk about how we put this on the paper and that is really the artistic part of this because... You're going to want to come in and look at this. <clears throat> you get to decide how to set up your composition. So maybe you like to stack all of your circles together and then have one little guy off to the side. Um, or maybe you like to have the circles taking up a little bit more space around the paper. Um, so this is really up to you. If you want to have parts and pieces that hang off your paper, um, that's going to be your choice too. Make sure you're not putting glue up here so it sticks to your table. But this part is completely up to you. So I think I'm going to go with something Not loving that yet. We could go with something like that, and then we'll use our glue stick to glue these on. Make sure you glue them on in reverse order so that your first one that's touching the paper um, gets glued on first so you don't have to move them around. When you're at the end of your project and you've glued it down and you're all happy with that, there's a couple things that you could possibly do. One, this is called the Fibonacci circles. You may want to actually write that on your paper. So if somewhere you wanted to write Fibonacci circles, or ooh, on mm -hmm. the circles even, the Fibonacci circles, uh, you can do that so that you can um, see what they're called. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to, but it's an option. Yeah, it's a great way to remember some of these terms too. Yes. So if you want to remember something like diameter or radius, you can certainly add that to your project and then this becomes a little bit of um, like a study tool study and guide at home mm -hmm. and then with any art project oh, you got to get your name on there put put your name down at the bottom so we know whose is whose and you can take yours home with you tonight yes All right. have fun